Oh my god, I was not ready for that. We'll go for the drag method then with this one. <sighs> the lesson that's taught me is that I think I need to start going gym or at least start doing something. But yes, so today we're going to be going over all the sweatshirts that I got out of the printed sweatshirt bales and showing you all the best sweatshirts that I got out of both bales and showing you how much money I'll actually make from them. So watch to the end of the video to see what my actual take home from these two bales is going to be. But starting off with a jumper I'm currently wearing with this nice little embroidered patch on it. I just thought the skeleton was quite cool, but I've listed this up for £15. Then we've got this blue key society jumper. To be honest, I don't think this will sell too well. I really liked it, but I've listed this up for £12. But then we've got this embroidered state police crew neck on a vintage fruit of the loom tag. I really like the embroidering. To be honest, if it fit me, I'd probably keep it. But I've listed this up for £20. Some of these are going to be on hangers. Some of them are going to be folded. It's just the way I store things. We've got this like vintage embroidered elephant jumper it's a triple xl though it's a triple xl actually that's even worse it's on a vintage jerseys tag i'm pretty sure i've said that right but i've listed this up for 18 pounds i think this will sell very well but then we got this two-tone neck embroidered like bird box jumper i did that joke last time and it wasn't funny the first time but this is on a morning sun tag and if you don't know i quite like these morning sun jumpers but this did have some minor stains on it so this is only 15 pounds then we've got another collared sweatshirt with this really big design on it with a nice little bow at the top. I've never even seen this tag, but it's a really nice embroidered design. I really like this jumper. I think this is another £18 I've listed this up for. If you've liked or you like any of the jumpers that you're going to see in this video, they're all going to be available on my Depot, which is linked in the description. Little shameless plug. You get it? Shameless plug plug like i'm plugging my instagram plug it, it wasn't funny i get it but then we've got this huge like embroidered floral jumper this had a couple stains on it as well though which were really disappointing and as well the neck was quite weird on this so i think i've only listed this up for 15 and again another collared sweatshirt with a really nice design on it this time it's a printed design though nice little bed and breakfast design i wonder if this was actually from a bed and breakfast it wasn't a jerseys tagger but someone's cut it off why do people do that but this is up for 18 pounds but to mix it up from two tone jumpers we've got this like tampa goose chinese said it again. I made that mistake in the first video. We've got this Tampa Goose Japanese club jumper with the nice little print on the front and the one on the back. I don't think anyone will think this is as cool as I think it is, but I've listed this one up for £15. Quick trip back down to reality with another two-tone neck jumper, but this is probably my favourite and probably the best two-tone neck jumper that we got. One of the reasons is that it is on a morning sun jumper, but the design on it is so cool. I really like this. And as well, to match the little print that it's got on the front on the arm there's a couple leaves as well but i've listed this up for 20 pounds i think i've got a little bit attached to this jumper and then another one of my favorite two-tone neck jumpers not gonna lie if this one fit me i probably want to keep this one as well but it's on a christine alexander tag which i've never even seen before and it says 1990 or later and that's before not before yeah, so this is probably from the 90s. But what I really liked about this was, one, it's from Alaska. And as well, the nice little, like, sequin kind of design on it. They actually shine. They're like diamonds. But I think I've got a little attached to this jumper as well. But I've listed this up for £20. I didn't know this had embroidered buttons on it. Ooh, nice little surprise. But we got our first of many Christmas jumpers in this snowman jumper. I'm just going to unfold it. It hurts me to unfold these jumpers, just to let you know. But we got this little snowman jumper. I think this is a really nice jumper. It will sell really well when it comes to Christmas. But I've listed this one up for £15. Then we've got this like embroidered work together to rebuild the Flood of 97 jumper on a vintage through of the loom tag once again. I thought this was cool because it's from 1997 and I'm going to guess it's from America. But I've listed this up for £20. And this is another one of my favourite jumpers. I'm going to say that a lot in this video. This is purple Christmas. Christmas jumper. I really like the purple on this. But I've listed this up for £20 because once again I got a little bit attached to this jumper. But then we've got this really nice like butterfly embroidered two-tone neck jumper and we've hit the hanger section now. But I really like this. The embroidered on this was really nice. This is another easy £15. I've run into a dilemma because I don't know where to hang things. So I can't add anything more to this because it will collapse. Little tip for you. If you want a really sturdy clothes rail, don't buy the ones that Argos do because the amount of 
times this has flipped is insane. Because one time I was sat there and this almost crushed me. But once again, we got another two-time neck jumper. You do get a lot of two-time neck jumpers in this bale. But not gonna lie, I really like these. Especially this one with a bird. I don't know what it's called. If you do know, please drop me a comment. It'd be very much appreciated. But I've listed this one up for 20. Then we've got another one of my favourite jumpers in this Halloween like pumpkin jumper. When this comes to Halloween, this will sell so well. Cool, we've moved all through the seasons. We've had autumn, we've had Christmas, and now we've got the season that Halloween's in, which not gonna lie, I don't know. It's winter, in it. Hey Siri, what season is Halloween in? Halloween is on, well, I don't care what day it's on. What season is it in October? It's Friday the 1st of October. How does that make sense? We've got another autumn jumper. This did have a really bad stain on it when I originally got it. And there's some really, like, oh, it's like, oh. Oh, I don't know what that was. Which, as you just saw, almost made me throw up. But I've listed this up for £20. But then we've got an invisible jumper. It wasn't funny in the unboxing video. It's definitely not funny now. But I thought this was quite cool. I've listed this up for £15. Oh my god, that almost went very wrong. But then we got this jumper, it's a really nice like embroidered thing, but the little slow man had to come along and ruin it, had to make it all Christmassy. But this is on a vintage jerseys tag and it's a size medium, it definitely does not fit like a size medium though. But I've listed this up for £20 just because of the size of the embroidering. But then we got this Caesars Palace jumper, I really like this one. The tag it even is a Caesars tag as well, which I thought was really cool. It is a double XL though and it did have some minor signs of wear but I don't think that really will kill the value too much but I've listed this up for £20. We got our first and unfortunately the last branded piece that we got from these bales which was this North Face brown quarter zip. I thought this was really nice. It's a bit of a strange colour and a bit of a strange material but it's a size large and I think this will sell really well. I've got this listed up for £25 and then we've got this grandma jumper which I thought was quite cool and as well it's on that M and C sportswear tag again. And the jumper says, Grandma always has candy, gives hugs and kisses, has a warm smile, stitches buttons, makes magic in the kitchen. <sighs> It keeps going. Need to catch my breath. Feel like I'm reading a novel. Spoils our grandkids, reads stories, bakes cookies. Ah, oh, how nice. I've listed this up for £15. I thought these little embroidered button things were quite cool as well. Then we've got this jumper. It kind of baffled me, to be honest. Because it says morning sun on the print, but then it's on like a jerseys tag, which had a little sniff in it. Like, how would that even happen? But I thought this jumper was quite cool, so I've listed this up for another £15. But then onto this jumper. It looks like it says fold, but after closer inspection it says Fred and it's from 1986 which I thought was pretty crazy. This jumper's dramatically older than I am. Probably a lot of these jumpers are to be fair but this has got some really bad like fading on it probably where it's from 1986 but this is only up for £15. Oh my god almost went flying. But for the moment, you've all been waiting for how much money do I think I'll make off these two bales? I think I'll make... Ooh. I've overused the whole thing a little bit recently. £800. And that's without taking away fees and that. And I got kind of bumped with fees on this one. My total amount of fees taken away postage, depot fees and PayPal fees. I think will come to about £325. Which just hurts. But I think my total take home from these two bales will be about £475 in straight profit. Which really still isn't too bad at all. But if you did enjoy this video, please drop it a like. If you saw so, so appreciated. It really helps the video out so much. And subscribe to my channel to help me hit 1k by the end of the year. It'd be so appreciated. But as I said, my Depop's linked in the description and off right up on the screen for you. I won't say it again. But as I said, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. So please like, subscribe and comment down below any videos you'd like to see in the future.